If you have been looking for a sign to do something that you've always wanted to do, this is your sign to do that thing. Okay, so I'm from Southern Alabama and I'm about two, a little over two hours away from New Orleans. And since high school, I have been asking my friends, like from high school, college, whenever, um, to go with me to New Orleans. And this has not happened yet. I've been asking since I was like 16 probably. I just wanted to go for like a weekend trip. I wanted it to do it for my birthday a couple years ago. Um, and if I've been to New Orleans, I was like a child. I barely remember. I vaguely remember. I feel like I have been before, but I don't. I haven't been in like my adult life and I've always wanted to go just for the day just to see what it's like eat the food so I had an epiphany I've been reading a lot lately if you don't follow me on Instagram or on here um, it's new for me I've read like eight books in the past two and a half weeks and I'm obsessed with it and they all have to do with travel in some way and it's always like this young girl like my age goes and travels for some reason and whatever um so i decided i'm gonna start doing it by myself if no one wants to go with me um i haven't asked them in a while but everybody's busy like my friends we're all in like different stages of life not even like my friends i feel like when you're 23 years old you're ha gonna have the people that have been married like have kids already or you know my friends are engaged about to get married bought a house in grad school and i you know i'm doing great but i love to travel and so i decided i'm gonna go today and i'm just gonna go explore new orleans by myself and then um i have a protein shake and then i also um just went to starbucks it's actually right behind me and i'm really excited about today honestly i've also been having this strong urge to go to europe like for so long i wanted to go to europe but i really want to go like next year like legitimately go even if i have to go alone i want to go to london and paris first like i want to spend ideally i would love to spend like a week in london and then a week in paris um i thought about like just putting it out there like to random girls i know and just be like hey would you be interested if we all got a group together and went like even if it was shorter than that um if you're one of those people let me know what you think but anyway so we're about to get on our journey okay you can see it's a little over two hours away um it's pretty much a straight shot we'll get there right at 10 a.m um i'm really excited because honestly i just like being in the car and yeah we're about to just go i probably won't need this the whole time but yay okay guys um not exactly sure where we are right now but we are headed to oh i'm turning left okay um we are gonna go to cafe du monde first that's what i want to do and that is what i want i'll be honest the little streets are kind of confusing i don't really know where i'm going or where there is to park it does look a lot like mobile i will say that just from driving in here a very tiny street um don't know where to find parking okay y'all we found parking this like random parking lot i think you have to pay to park here um we're gonna have to figure out how to go about that but um i drove past cafe du monde we're still gonna go and see what the wait is it was pretty it was a pretty long line That beignet was so worth the hype. One of the best things I've ever had. I'm not even joking. amazing beignet but now I really want a chef cowboy not a fan of eating in restaurants by myself so I'm gonna look for somewhere where you can order one this one in Sephora Evan Outfitters So 
I'm in the French Quarter, by the way. That po' boy was so good. I wasn't expecting it to be that good because it was the only place um, that I could find. Like, I literally typed in po' boys near me. <laughs> and it was called Johnny's Po' Boys, but it was really, really, really good. It was like the bread was good, the whole situation. Um, so I just ate it outside this other cafe. And my time, like my meter on my car um, is about to expire. It's almost noon now. So I've been here for almost two hours. Um, I've really just been walking around, looking at all the stores and that's pretty much it it's just there's not a whole lot of people i have been wearing a mask by the way um some people have not i have noticed um but there are two malls from what i've seen there's like a fancy mall i think right beside me and so i just want to go look at it and just see what they have nor how like sweaty i look it kind of got really hot it was honestly cold this morning and like super windy but it's gotten a lot warmer i think it's like 75 80 degrees something like that my makeup on my nose and my lips are like the first to go so i need to reapply lipstick i took a wipe and like wiped down um my kids camera my phone all my stuff so yeah I ate like a third of that po' boy it was enormous I didn't think it would be that big literally though those beignets I don't even like donuts I don't really like sweets that much the only thing I like that's sweet is like coffee um that was incredible I have two more and it's only like three dollars and 75 cent for three of them so super cheap what I think of when I think of New Orleans number one I think of Lil Wayne of course number two I think of Kardashians because if you guys remember it's like right after Hurricane Katrina the Kardashians came down to New Orleans it was when Kim was dating Reggie Bush and she loves Cafe Du Monde and they got beignets and then there was a girl and her mom at the table next to them um, and they got to talking and they talked about like how they were impacted by Hurricane Katrina they go to their house and they help them with like furniture and stuff um, I haven't seen that episode in forever so I vaguely remember it and then I also remember when Kim was pregnant I believe with North I think she took like a special trip just to come down here and get these beignets um, yeah fun fact about me I love pop culture I don't talk about it enough I feel like but I can tell you a whole bunch of ba basic facts about random celebrities if you ever want to chat about pop culture I'm your girl so we're in this fancy place called Canal Place yeah, we're leaving um, this place is a little bit out of budget um, we're gonna go to the other mall. It's really nice in there and there was like no one in there, but there wasn't a lot of stores. It was just like bougie stores. Okay, I just like wasted $15. This is the mall I went in. Um, it's also the West End <laughs> Hotel, so that explains why it was so expensive. So basically, I just walked in Saks Fifth Avenue um, and then walked out. But yeah, and then I think that's a casino up there. Um, I think I could be wrong. Okay, now we are at the normal mall. I'm not even sure what this mall is called. I think it's like Lakeside or something. I really just want to go to Zara and they have a Zara here and I haven't been to Zara in forever. <laughs> a mark on my neck from my purse um okay so i walked around the mall it's like almost two and i'm kind of tired i'm not gonna lie so i got um another coffee because i think we're about to go ahead and drive back but i think when i get back i want to go possibly somewhere around somewhere in mobile or possibly foley if you know where that is what I really want to do, there's like a consignment bookstore in Foley and that's really where I want to go, but I'm not sure how far out of the way that is. I just walked around the mall, didn't buy anything because I was like, you know, it's just so overpriced and we both know where I belong. Target. That's where, that's where I've kind of gotten used to shopping so much lately. I think it's because like in college, I didn't buy a lot of clothes because I got sent a lot of clothes like for pink and that was pretty much all you wear in college is like casual clothes with the occasional nicer stuff um, and so I didn't mind splurging then but now it's like I'm buying all my clothes and it's like, wow, it adds up. I do need two dresses so I have like my friends um, bridal shower in a couple weeks and then I have something else so I need a couple dresses okay y'all we have made it back to Mobile um, there's a bookstore called I think it's like the haunted bookstore or something it has like great reviews oh I'm going the wrong way um, uh -oh. oh never mind I can turn up here um, anyway there's a bookstore up here that's I'm gonna go to because I'm tired of paying so much money for books. That's the Battle House. I've been to the spa there one time and it was the best experience of my life. You can go up to like the roof. I think it's that roof. Um, and they have like a pool and it has like a really cool view. Um, really good food. I would love to go there right now. If you're ever looking for a nice bougie day, 
the Battle House Hotel and Spa. It's amazing. I never come to Mobile enough. Like this part of Mobile, and it's not even far. Like I'm like maybe 20 minutes from my house, and I never come here. Also in this building at the top, it's a place called Dauphins, D-A-U-P-H-I-N. I think that's how you spell it. Um, and it is such a good restaurant. It's at the top of this building and it has like glass views all around. Um, I just wanna let y'all know, in case you're from a Beale area, they have the best like steak and um, just overall like the whole, the whole thing. It's very, very expensive, but it's so good. On the second floor. It's super cute in here. I'm trying to talk quietly because I don't know if anybody's up here. This is what I actually stayed up until midnight reading last night and it was really good. So I actually recommend that. Um, it's like super lighthearted. Not like a deep book, but it was cute. Oh, gotta fix this. Okay, you can kind of see here just from like the architecture of like the buildings that it's kind of resembles the look of New Orleans. Yeah, Mobile honestly like a lot of this is like hotels or banking like finance buildings and stuff so there's really not like a whole lot to do um so that's pretty much why i never come down here surprise guys back at target <laughs> we are in daphne um i needed to swing by here honestly i just need some vitamins um who knows what else we'll find but and then i also really want to water and then after this i'm gonna go get my car washed because it is disgusting it's all out guys incredible i'm so happy all right so i'm annoyed because they did not have my vitamins um they're always out it's the ollie just women's multivitamin y'all know i love them but they did have this book and this was actually rec recommended to me twice i did a thing on my instagram story and asked people to send me in recommendations for books because i have been reading non-stop um i have four at home i'll show you one of them was the one i showed y'all in the bookstore earlier but um, this one, they didn't have in Barnes & Noble, so I just got this in Target. Um, I'm so excited. So we just got home. Daisy's so excited to see me. Um, I have an exciting box. Um, I can't share what's in here yet, I don't think. I really don't know, but it's from Ipsy. Um, some really exciting news with Ipsy. Very, very excited. And then I showed you guys this box from Pixie last week. I actually used one of the palettes this morning when I was getting ready. It's just crazy that this is happening to me. Um, I'm just so excited. And then I have some clothes I need to put up. Honestly, today overall, besides how much I wasted on parking, the first parking place I paid $20 and the second was like $15, which I should not have paid there. I could have found street parking for much cheaper. Um, um, but besides that, all I bought was a shrimp po' boy. I think that was $13. Starbucks. And then what else did I get? The beignets were like $3.75. And then I loaded up on gas. So overall, like, just like if you're wanting to go to another city or if you're wanting to go like explore, um, especially if you like live near a big city that's not super far, just go. Like don't wait till the right time. Don't wait until like all your friends can go because odds are it's going to be the older you get, the more complicated it is to like sync schedules and stuff. And that's understandable. Um, but sometimes like you just got to do you. And I have just been feeling so inspired lately to just start living my life, you know, like start just going places and um yeah who knows where i'll go next 